Okay, the next method we're going to look at is solving by the quadratic formula. So, quadratic formula. Okay, the quadratic formula. You know it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> so, the first thing we want to do is we want to write in standard form. With the quadratic formula. <laughs> For standard form, we don't want this to be equal to 2x, we want it to be equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And then standard form, we write the biggest exponent first, so we'd write x squared first, and then the minus 2x, and then the constant term last. So it looks like it's in standard form. It's equal to 0. Um, for this standard form, so the next thing we're going to do is ide identify a, b, and c. So a is the coefficient in front of x squared, so in this case a is 1. b is the coefficient in front of x, so in this case the b is negative 2. And c is negative 35. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is evaluate the discriminant. The discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so our discriminant for us would be negative 2 squared minus 4 times a times c. Okay, be really careful with order of operations when you're doing this. So b squared would be negative 2 times negative 2, which would be 4. We subtract, but we multiply first, so 4 times 1 would be 4. 4 times negative 35 would be 150, I believe. Uh, let me check. 35 times 4, 140. but it would be negative 140 because the 4 is, we're subtracting a positive 4, a positive 1, and a negative 35. Okay, now we're subtracting a negative, so it's going to be plus 140, which is 144. So our discriminant is 144, it's positive, that means we're going to have two solutions. All right, and then the next step, the next step is going to be the rest of the quadratic formula, which is opposite of b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant all over 2a. So this is a two-part problem. There's a plus and there's a minus. So I'm going to go ahead and do the, write it out. So opposite of b, since it's a negative 2, would be positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 144 over 2 times a. a is 1, so that'd be over 2. The square root of 144 is a nice number, so we have 2 plus or minus 12 over 2. Now we have two possibilities. One possibility is that we have 2 plus 12 divided by 2. That'd be 14 divided by 2, which is 7. And the other possibility is 2 minus 12 divided by 2, so that'd be negative 10 divided by 2, or negative 5. And the comforting thing is that those are the same answers that we got when we solved by graphing. We found our y -intercept, or x-intercepts were negative 5 and 7, and that was the same answer we got when we solved by factoring. Eventually we got that x was equal to negative 5 or x was equal to 7.